that this is a tutorial for a, um, an 18 inch 4x4 four four basket stitch cardigan and I have started with um, 54 stitches and I'm going to knit 8 rows and knit one per one rib and I'm using 3.25 millimeter needles and then when I start the after the rib I'll be using four millimeter needles so this is just knit one purl one I'll blow it up a bit and this is a peachy called peachy pink in the create wool so I'm knitting twisted rib that's what I do nearly all my ribs in and that's just as anyone might know you're just knitting into the back of the stitch and I'm going to do that until I have eight rows And this wool is double knitting wool and the tension for this pattern that I'll be doing will be six stitches and seven and a half rows to the inch. That's how the pattern works out. So that's eight rows. A one by one rib we're doing so now I'm going to start the pattern and I'm changing to the to the four millimeter needles don't know whether you can see that it's it doesn't always show up very well on these needles but to start that pattern off we're going to start with the first stitch we want to have to start and finish with the same stitches to keep the pattern correct so the first stitch is knit one and then we're going to do four purl stitches that's four purl and then four knit So that we started off with knit one and four purl and then four knit and we're going to repeat those stitches the four purl and the four knit all across the row until you get to the last stitch and then you'll be knitting one and now we're at the last five stitches and we're going to purl five Purl four, sorry, purl four stitches and then knit the last stitch. And I always knit into the back of any row that ends with a knit stitch. It keeps it um, a neater edge on there. So that's the first row, and I'm going to change the other needle. And so the next row second row instead of starting with knit we are starting with purl and then we're going to knit the first four stitches and purl the next four stitches so you're just doing the opposite of what you did on the other row instead of knit you're doing purl and instead of purl you're doing knit so we're going to do the repeat those stitches across the row, knit four, and purl four. So now we are going to knit four, and purl one. And then we're going to repeat those two rows again. So we'll be doing this row starting with knit 
and then doing purl, knit one stitch, then purl four, knit four, purl four all the way across the row. And then the next row you turn over, we will be starting with purl one and knit four, exactly what we've done for the other two rows. Now we'll come back when I get that far. So that's how the, the start of the pattern is looking. We've done the first four rows and now we're going to alternate what we were doing here. So instead of starting with knit one stitch and purl four, we're going to purl one stitch and knit four stitches. So we'll do that. Let's purl one stitch. Knit four, that's one, two, three, four. And then over those four knit stitches, we're going to do four purl. And we're going to carry on doing that across the row, knitting over the, the knit, knitting over the purls and purling over the knits. So that's that row finished and the next row is exactly the same as what we did on the first row on the other side here where we started with knit and purl four but here we're going to knit and purl four that's knit one and purl four And then we're going to knit the next four stitches. And then we're going to repeat those eight stitches, the purl four and the knit four across the row. And the next two rows are just a repeat of the two rows you've just done. We're going to purl one and knit four and then purl four and then the other row the be the, the the fourth row will be purl four will be knit one purl four and knit four and that is a repeat of the eight actual eight pattern rows and that's all you're doing is you're doing purls and knits and every fourth row you're changing where you're going to do a purl over the knits and a knit over the pearls for four rows and so on. Now that's your four by four basket stitch. And the size we are doing will probably fit um, a three to six month old baby. So that is how the eight pattern rows look now. And the next rows are going to start will be the same as the first four. And then after that, the same as the second lot of four. And we're going to knit that pattern until it measures six inches. And I will be back then. So I've knit up to six inches. As you can see there. Inches. And that has been, that's, these are blocks of four. So that's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's actually 40 rows to get to six inches. That's how many rows it took me to get to six inches. It depends on your own tension. And so now I'm going to cast off the stitches for the, um, the armholes. And we're going to cast off three stitches beginning of the next two rows. The next two rows are starting with um, a knit here and a purl, so we're going to cast off in the um, the way the stitches are meant to go. So that's one, two, that's three stitches, and then we're just going to pattern to the end end of the row one two three four 
and carry on like that the knits and the pearls until you get to the end of the row and we cast off the stitches on the other side and so we're almost at the end of the row In the next row the same as we did at the other side we're going to cast off three stitches Three. And I'm going to knit across that row, so that would be two rows we've done. And I'm going to knit another two rows and then do decreasing. So that's the two cast off rows that I've done, and now I'm going to knit two more rows. But when you do the um when you come to the wrong side, keep those two first two stitches and the last two stitches as purl. And you knit two stitches, doesn't matter what stitches comes up at the start, you knit two stitches and then follow the pattern. So that's the third row. So that's the right side row and as you can see there are actually six knit stitches at the start and at the finish. That's because we want to keep two knit stitches at, the, um, at each end for doing the decreasing and when you're doing the wrong side make sure you keep the first two stitches Pearl. No matter what the stitch comes to, it's always two pearl and carry on. So you've actually done six, six pearl on that row. And when you come to the end, end of the row, you'll be knitting six pearl stitch there as well. So we have done the, um, the two cast off rows and the two more rows and now I'm going to do the, the first decreasing row. And we're going to do this on this row and the next fourth row and then it'll be on every alternate row. So we knit the first stitch, we're going to slip the second stitch, knit the next stitch and then pass that slipped stitch over. And now we're changing pattern because we've done the four rows, so it's purl three. And then knit four. And then just carry on with the pattern as set until the last get to the last three stitches so now I've pulled three the pattern and now we're going to the last three stitches here we're going to knit two together and knit the last stitch and then the next row is pull those first two stitches and the last two stitches but carry on with the pattern how it's set so that's purl two then knit three and carry on to the end of the row and we're at the last two stitches on that row and we're going to pull those two. So that's the first decrease and now we're going to So it's the first, first two rows are the cast off stitches. 
then you're knitting two rows and then doing the first decrease and then you're going to knit another four on up to the fourth row and do another decrease and then it'll be on every alternate row after that until you have 18 stitches left and I will come back then so I'm now at 18 stitches and I'm going to put those stitches onto a stitch holder and when I come to the last decrease that was the row I did the decrease on the last row I knit and I don't do the next row where you knit across on the wrong side because when you pick the stitches up for the neck band you knit that row anyway so I always leave that row to be picked up later on so I'm going to put the um, stitches onto a stitch holder So that's the stitches picked up. And that is all until the next part, which I will be doing the fronts. I'm now on to the, the left front and I've used the, the 3.25 millimeter needles and I've cast on 26 stitches. And I've knit eight rows in knit one purl one twisted rib. So now I'm going to start the pattern on um, this one, on this part. And I'm going to start with, blow this up so you can see better. I'm going to start with knit three. And you're knitting so you want to, what you start with, you want to finish with the same thing. So that's knit three and then it's purl four. And knit four. And then purl four again. And you're left with the three, the same as what you knitted at the start. So you knit three and knit into the back of the knit stitch to keep your neat neater edge. And then on the put the other needle down, get the other four millimeter needles. And as I didn't see at the start that I changed to four millimeter needles to do this. You can see the four millimetre there. And so the second row is going to be purl three. You're just alternating what you did on the other row. And knit four. And then purl four. And then we are purling the last three stitches. And the next two rows are just a repeat of those last two rows. So we are going to start with knit three and purl four again. So that's the four rows, the first four rows of the pattern. And now we are going to alternate from what we were doing. We are started with knit three here and purl four. We're going to start with purl three and knit four. That's what you call alternating the pattern. So that's purl three and then it's going to be knit four. And then purl four. And just for the last three stitches, we're going to purl those stitches. And 
that's uh, the second part the first row of the second part of the pattern and then the next row we're going to knit three and then pull four then knit four and we're knitting the last three stitches knitting into the back of the stitch so that is the those two rows you're going to repeat those two rows again and that would be the eight rows of the pattern so we'll just keep on repeating those until um you get to the the measurement which is six inches i did 40 rows to get to that measurement um on the back and you'll be finishing on the wrong side row when you've done that so we have now <laughs> up to the armholes and I finished knitting on the wrong side you have to be careful with this pattern because it's reversible it's the same on both sides so make sure you finish on the right side on the wrong side for the right side so I finished on the wrong side and I'm now going to cast off three stitches for the start of the armhole that's six six inches I've knit up to that's one two three So that's the three stitches now I'm going just going to knit across follow the pattern and I'm now on to the second row and I'm going to knit to the last two stitches I'll knit the pattern to the last two stitches on the um, the arm hole So keeping the pattern correct, just carry on across the row. And we're up to the last two stitches and it doesn't matter what the stitches show on there, you purl those last two stitches on the wrong side. And I'm going to knit two more rows and then I'll show you about the shaping and now we're on to a, a decreasing row so we've knit the one row where you cast off and then another three rows so it's this row and then the next fourth row we are going to decrease so going to knit one slip one knit one stitch and then pass that slip stitch over and that's how you decrease on the the left side and then we're going to knit it's a change of pattern you knit there and purl over the knit and carry on till you get to the end of the row so that's the decreasing row done and now we're going to on the wrong side pattern to the last two stitches and we're going to purl those two stitches that purl anyway the, the stitches there And the last three stitches on that row are purl.
and so we're going to carry on like that and have another two more rows to do so it's on the next fourth the fourth row that one there and then the fourth row and then it'll be on every alternate row we are decreasing until you have 12 stitches left and i'll be back when i get that far Now we decreased on the, the armhole edge on every other row until we have 12 stitches left and we finished on the right side. So this is the neck edge on this side. So we're turning over and we're going to cast off three stitches for the neck edge. One, two, that's three stitches at the neck edge. We're going to carry on to the end of the row. And now we're going to decrease at the armhole edge and at the, the neck edge. We're going to decrease on the next three rows, next three stitches from the there on the neck edge. Just decreasing as you normally do on the, um, the armhole edge. Pass that slip stitch over. Then the two together. And then the next row at the neck edge, you're going to pull two together. So that's two decreases we've done at the neck edge and you can do one more So that's your three stitches at the neck edge and then you're going to decrease at the neck edge on alternate rows. So we pull across this row and decrease at the armhole edge at the same time until you have two stitches left. So we only have four stitches left here, so we're going to knit one, slip one, and knit those two stitches together. Pass that slip stitch over. So that's two stitches you've decreased on that row. So you're just going to pull those two stitches that's left. And then knit those two stitches together. And that is the I think I'll have to put that through and cut it off where so that's the 
the left side finished and the next part will be the right side and the right side is just a mirror version of this side you do exactly the same cast on 26 stitches and do the pattern up to the armholes only instead of finishing on the right side you'll finish on the the wrong side but i will come to that when i do that bit So now I'm up to the shaping on the, um, the right side and I have the left side here to show you. You are just doing a mirror image. In other words, you're reversing the shaping. On the left side, you finished on the, the wrong side and you started from the right side to cast off the stitches here for the armholes. But for the right side, you're finished on the, this is the wrong side. That is the right side. You're finished on the, um, the right side. So you're turning over to the wrong side to cast off the stitches on that side. So when they're put together, they'll be like that. So the stitches are cast off on the opposite side. And that's how you reverse the um, the shaping. So as I'm on the side for to cast off the stitches, I finished on the right side. That's the right side. I tell the right side by the because this is a reser reversible pattern. It's the same on both sides, and if you look at the edge of the the cast on stitches. On one side and then on the wrong side you see you have a slight little lip across the bottom here you can see the the stitches the the pearl stitches on that side but you look on that side they're not shown so that is how you can tell which is the this is the right side and that is the wrong side so anyway, we're going to cast off the three stitches. For the armhole. And then just carry on knitting the pattern across the row. So that was the second row. The first row was the row that we knit across for to do the cast off stitches on the next row. So the cast off stitches were on the second row. And we're now going to knit another two rows. That would bring us the third row and the fourth row. And on the fifth row, we're going to start decreasing. Then on the third row, when you come to the last two stitches, where the decreasing is going to be, you just knit those two stitches. And then on the pearl, on the, the wrong side, not the pearl side, those first two stitches are purled. Then you just carry on with the whatever stitches you have to do for the pattern. Now you're on to the decreasing row. In this row, we're going to knit to the last three stitches, a pattern to the last three stitches. Let's a change of stitch row. We're now at the last three stitches and we're going to knit those two stitches together 
and then knit. And then we're going to do another three rows and do that again. And then it'll be on every other row after that. So that's how you do the decreasing and you'll keep on doing that until you have 12 stitches left. And when you get 12 stitches left, you'll be finishing on the, the wrong side. So you'll be knitting across that row, ready to start the next shaping on this side. So we have knitted till we have 12 stitches left and I knit across on the the wrong side so we're ending at the um, the neck edge so the next row you'll be starting on the right side which is the opposite side to the other one that was where we finished on the um got to finish on the neck edge for the right side so now we are going to do it we did this on that side on the wrong side this one is going to be done on the right side so we're going to cast off three stitches and as well it's just a chain stitch row so we're going to cast them up purlwise that's one two three and then just pattern across to the last three stitches and knit those two stitches together and knit the last stitch And now we're going to decrease on the next three rows at the neck edge. Still decreasing at the armhole edge at the same time. On alternate rows as, as normal. And when it's purl, you purl into the back. To the back of those purl stitches. That's to bring the, the, the stitches going that way. Leaning in. So that's one stitch. And you're going to knit into the back of the first two stitches on the next row. You knit into the back. And knit across the row. And knit the two together for the armhole. And the next row, the third decrease on the um, the neck edge. You're purling into the back. And then we're going to knit one more row. Knit two together. Next row. Going to pull one. Pull those two together. 
to the back of the loops. And we have two stitches left. And we're just going to knit those two together. And that is the that is the right front to match the left front. So now all we have to do is the sleeves. And as the sleeves are both the same, put that down a bit. I've already done one because sleeves are both the same so I only need to show how to do one so I've done one and then I'm going to do the other one and do the tutorial for the other one so as you can see how they're, they're fitting together there and I will be back when I start the sleeve I'm now doing the um, the sleeve for the cardigan and I've used 325mm needles and I cast on 30 stitches and I've knit 8 rows and knit 1 purl 1 twisted ribbon. Now I'm changing to four millimeter. It's hard to see these numbers on the screen <laughs> and I'm going to start the pattern and the first row is knit one pearl four Knit four, I see you there. Another one, two, three, four, and we are going to knit four and pull four to the last one stitch. Now the last stitch, knit one. So you started with knit one and you finished with knit one. That's the way the pattern works. So the next row is purl one. Change that. Purl one and knit four. So you're doing the opposite of what you were doing before. Pearl four, and to your last stitch. Right, we're on to row three, and we're going to increase in this row. So, we're going to knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch, and knit into the back of it. So you're knitting in the back of the stitch, so you're knitting twice into that one stitch, and that's your increase. And then carry on with the the pattern, the knit four and purl fours, until you get to the last couple of stitches. So we're on to the last three stitches we're going to increase in the next stitch so we're going to knit into it and then knit into the back of it and the next two stitches are knit stitches
and that's just how you increase you just add those stitches into the pattern as best you can they won't always look like the same stitch you're knitting but and so the next stitch is the next row is purl two and knit four that's pearl four then you just repeat the pattern to the end of the row and you pearl two at the end That's the first four rows of the pattern and the next four rows are going to be where you had knit two it's purl two and then knit four And knit four to the end of the row. So that is how the uh, the pattern is going. So from the the last increase, you will knit another six rows. Increase on the sixth row, and every sixth row after that, until you have. Uh, I'm checking my book here. Till you have forty two stitches, and then I will be back then. So I've now reached six and a half inches on the sleeve. Shall we measure it? Six and a half inches. And six and a half inches for me is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times four is forty-four. It's forty-four rows. And now I'm going to cast off the stitches for the um the armholes. And the last row I knitted was on the wrong side, so you finish on the wrong side. So the next row will be on the right side for the cast off the the stitches. And I'll blow that up. So I'm going to cast off three first. That's one. And do whatever stitch you need to do for the pattern. That's three stitches, and I'm going to knit to the end of the row, pattern to the end of the row. That's the two cast off rows, and now I'm going to knit two more rows, and then I'll be showing you how to do the decrease. When you're doing the decrease on the rows that you aren't decreasing, remember to knit two at the start and knit two at the end. And on the wrong side, you will purl two at the start and purl two at the end. So that's those two rows knitted. And now I'm going to decrease. And we're going to knit one, slip one. Knit one, then pass that slip stitch over as just as you did on the um the other parts, and we're on to a change of stitch, so it's a knit over the pearls and purl over the knits. Two three four and one, two, three, four. To the last three stitches. The last three stitches, and we're going to knit those two stitches together and knit one. And that is the first decrease, and we are going to knit three more rows 
decrease again and then it will be on every other row after that and then we are going to keep on decreasing until our six stitches left and we'll be putting those onto a safety pin so I will meet you when I get that far so that is the sleeves knitted up to the last six stitches and I've placed those on a safety pin and now the next part will be putting the neckband on we are now going to pick up the stitches for the neckband and you want 52 stitches we're starting with the um the right front so we're going to pick up 11 stitches on the right front and i'm using three 325 it's hard to see the size on here 325 millimeter needles pick up the first stitch one picking up two two three four now the next one here is a big hole so you don't want to pick up that one you go up to the stitch below so we now have four that's five and then pick up that one where the hole was that's six seven Another one with a big hole there. That's eight. Another one, nine. Ten. I picked up a bit more. And the top one there, if you can get your needle in. Eleven. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. It's eleven stitches you've picked up on the front. And then you're going to pick up six from the sleeve. I think I'll take this down a bit, it's a bit. <laughs> right, six from the sleeve. That's six there. Pull that stitch tight. And then you want 18 from the back. Two, three, it's 18 on the back, it's six from the other sleeve, one, two, six. And then you want 11 from the left front. So that's one. Two, three, four, 
three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. That's a bit more there. Eight. Nine. And last stitch. Eleven. So now you're going to knit the first row just knit those stitches so you get the garter ridge on the it's on the right side of the cardigan and then you're going to knit all the way across that row and I'm on to the last three stitches So that is the, the knit stitch, the knit row and now we're going to knit one, purl one. As you can see that leaves a ridge across the, um, the row but it's now knit one, purl one and I'm going to do that for five rows. So we're knitting into the back twisted rib the same as the um the rest. We're going to do that for five rows and then we'll be casting off quite loosely on the last the row after that. I've knitted four rows. Instead of five, I think four is um, enough because you have one row with the, um, this knit row across here as well. So now we're going to cast off these stitches and we're going to cast off in the same rib that we've been knitting in. So it's twisted rib, so you're knitting into the back of the knit stitch. And don't pull the stitch tight when you, you cast it off, just leave it as it comes off the needle and just do that until you get to the end of the row that there and you can see the, there's a little bit give in that. You don't want it tight. So that's the neck knitted and I'm going to cast. I've cast off all the stitches. And tie off the end. And you can see the neck, there's a, a little bit give in it. You don't want it tight because it's going around a baby's neck and it would be too tight if you just pull the stitches tight. So next thing we need to do now is to stitch this up. And I do a flat stitch, what you call a flat stitch. You put the two pieces of the, the raglins together like that. And you just flat stitch over. Will I get a, a needle? Just 
So I'll need some pins first to pin it. Now we have two ends here where there's two of the ends of metal. I'm going to just tie them. Like that. Just took a couple of knots in and cut the spare one off. And then to flat stitch, I'll take that up a little bit. You hold the two pieces together like that. I'm going to over sew over that end. And you just go from one side to the other. Like that. You keep pulling that down till you sew it in. That's one of my hairs there. And that's how you flat stitch the seam. You just keep going from one side to the other. And my hair's there. <laughs> we'll put it out there or be sewing it in. And then you sew all the four seams up like that. As you can see on the other side, it's quite neat on the other side. There's no gathering or anything. And you keep your stitch slack. Don't pull it tight when you when you take it through the each piece like that. Just pull it. But don't pull it tight or else you'll gather the seam up. That's how you flat stitch a seam. As you can see, it's still quite neat. There's no gathering of the um, the seam. And that's how you do the raglins. I'm now sewing the um, the cuff. I've only sewn two of the raglins up, but um, I've done that to show how to sew the, um, the cuff. So you do that flat stitch the same way that you do the, um, the raglins. And just keep going from one side to the other. And when you've done the you've done the um the cuff, the ribbed part, you back stitch the sleeve. And the side. Put a couple of pins in to keep it together. Now we take the two sides together and back stitch. And you keep going behind, that's the stitch that you've come where you've come out, you go back behind where you've come out. 
and come out in front of that stitch like that. And that's how you back stitch behind and come out in the front. And in the front. Very simple, nothing to it. And that's how you do a back stitch. I wonder whether you can see it on there because it's the same colour as the, the wool. So I will carry on sewing this up and then um, I will come back and show how to do the, um, the bands on the front, the button bands and the buttonhole bands. Well, I'll put the, the band on the, um, on the button side and I'm going to show you it's exactly the same on the buttonhole side except you're putting buttonholes in so I'm going to show you how to do this side. Yes, we're picking up 65 stitches. I've picked up the first stitch. And you're going into the, the space where you're picking up a hole. Both parts of the V stitch when you pick up. And picking up the bits of other stitches as well. That's not going through there. That's three, four. I'm going to miss the next one. Five, six, seven, eight. And now when we're picking up all the stitches up the, the band here, you're going to pick up three and miss one. And it doesn't matter whether you exactly get 65, you could be maybe one or two less or one or two more. It doesn't really matter because of the um, the way the band pulls in with it being ribbed. So I'm missing that stitch and I'm going on to the next one. So that's one, two, three and I'm going to miss the next stitch it's one two three miss the next stitch one three and just keep going on like that until you come to the the top and then you pick all the stitches up on the um the ribbed part so i've picked up my 65 stitches and i'm going to knit the first row the same as you did on the um the neck band so you have a um a garter edge where you pick the stitches up Two, three, four, five. So I'm going to knit all the way across that row. So that's the first row, the knit row, and now we're going to do knit one, purl one. Twisted rib, so knitting into the back of the um, the stitch. So knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. Uh, one. So that's how we're going to do that. We're going to do that for two rows 
and then put the buttonholes on the third row and when I come to that row I'll show you how to place the buttonholes. So now I'm going to place the, uh, some stitch markers across the row where I'm going to put the buttonholes. I'll put some stitch markers in, I'll sort them out. And this is my little stitch marker holder that keeps all my stitch markers in. It was sent to me by a lady called Priscilla who is Distinctive Crochet, one of my subscribers. So thank you Priscilla, it's very handy that little bag. So that's how I'm doing my buttonholes and I've placed the stitch markers. So when I come to those stitches with the stitch marker on, I have placed one, two, three, four, five, six knit stitches between each stitch marker. So on every seventh one, I put a stitch marker. I'm putting five buttonholes on um, this cardigan. So when I'm knitting and I come to this knit stitch, I knit that stitch and then bring the wool forward in front of the needle and then knit the next two stitches together and that's how I work out the buttonholes. So I will show you on this. This one. So I'm knitting the first stitch. Purling the next stitch. And I'm knitting that stitch with the stitch marker on. I bring the wool forward and I'm knitting the next two stitches together. And then carrying on to the next stitch marker. I'm at the next stitch marker. I'm going to knit that stitch. Pull forward again and knit the next two stitches together. And that is how you do that. And that putting counting the number of knit stitches between the stitch markers makes sure that you get the buttonholes even across the row. And I will come to you when I finish the um, the band. So that's all the buttonholes done. So now I'm going to take the stitch markers out. And then we're just going to knit another two rows and then I'll be casting off the stitches. I'm casting off my last few stitches. to cut that wool off. So that's the cardigan all finished apart from the one or two little go down one or two little ends to weave in and put the buttons on and we have my buttons here there's one two three four 
five. Lots of five buttons and the cardigan finished just in time because the light is disappearing and I cannot video with the light on because it casts shadows over what I'm doing. Well, that's the little cardi completed. Buttons sewn on, everything done. So that'll be going on my eBay shop tomorrow when the special offers, 80% off selling fees comes on. So that's enough for that. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.